Hi guys, this is Making Up, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this great look using Color Workshop's Create the Look series, Sun Goddess. So, I'm going to go wash up and see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, I'm back. As you can see, all I have on is foundation and concealer. Now, I know you guys might be tempted to buy those really expensive concealers, but I personally find they aren't worth the money. I use Wet n Wild Coverall Concealer, and it's really great. It lasts forever, it does a great job, it's so easy to use. Now, a cool trick about um, concealer is you can actually use it to keep your lipstick from feathering. Now, if you notice, my lips are really matte. It's because I run concealer all the way around the outside edge and feather out towards my face and in over the lip. This gives you a smooth, clean surface to apply lipstick. So the first thing I like to start with is my mid-tone. Now I'm going to be using this bottom color here, SG4, it's tangerine. And I know it seems a little bit bright, and honestly I was skeptical at first, but after I tried it the first time, I've been wearing it almost every day. It is such a great color. Now I'm going to be taking just a small to medium sized round tip brush, this is mine, and I'm going to arc that color from the corner of your eye here, up towards the brow and around the outside edge of your eye here. What that's going to do is give us a guideline for the overall look and a nice smooth foundation for the rest of the blending of our colors. Now, if even after tapping off your brush, you still get the little tiny bits of pigment on your skin, you're just going to use a, I use my foundation brush to sweep them off. You don't want to apply too much pressure though, because then you're going to smash it onto your face and you're going to get streaks of color and nobody likes that. Alright, once you have your design base down, you're going to move on to your dark color. I'm going to be using this bottom color here, SG6 Terracotta. Now for this step, I'm going to be using another round brush from one of my Color Workshop brushes that I've had forever. It's just a small to medium sized round tip brush and the main difference between this one and the one I used for our tangerine is that it's a lot softer so it blends really nice. Now I'm going to be taking this dark tone and I'm going to bring it from the outside corner here along our edge to about halfway into this part of my eyebrow. A really easy way to know that you're cutting your eye into thirds is here for any kind of light tone and here for our dark. That gives us the most area for our mid. For this look, that's going to be what you're looking for. All right. Next we're going to be moving on to our light tone and just as a point of note, if you notice you get a pretty sharp edge at this step, that's okay. We're going to soften it up in our finish. Now for my light tone, I'm going to be using SG1 Sunbeam, that's this top color here. And I love this color. It is fantastic. It is a bright yellow that wears great in day and goes really fun in the evening. So with our light color, we're going to be taking it in the corner of our eye where you would normally put your highlight and sweeping it up about a third of the way into your mid-tone here. And then I'm also going to be applying it right under the brow, starting from the arch, right under the brow. I'm going to just kind of feather that out at the edges so it's not a real sharp line there like you normally would your white or bright highlight for other looks. And as you can see, it really smooths out the color and makes it this great sunrise or sunset sort of fade. 
Now, I'm going to next, because I already have dark brows, I don't have to fill them in too much, but if you have lighter brows, or if you accidentally pluck too much, you can actually put a little bit of eyeshadow into your brow line, and it'll fix any kind of mistakes you have. So I'm just going to fill it in just a little bit to give me that nice crisp edge. Now, I'm just going to use a soft chisel brush. Um, depending upon how thick your brows are, mine are pretty thick, so I use a real soft edge. Um, you can either use a real sharp chisel brush for thinner brows or a real soft one for thicker ones. And I'm just going to tap it into, I'm actually using SG2 uh, chocolate. And it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it actually brightens up my face and fills in any kind of messed up spots in my brow. Next, I'm actually going to put on my blush before I get to my eyeliner and mascara. And I know this seems like a weird way to go about it, but for me, it allows me to gauge how heavy I want to go with my blush for a look before I put my eyeliner on. The Sun Goddess Collection comes with a bronzer pack, which is great, but for my skin tone, it doesn't work as a blush. So, since they were really inexpensive, I actually bought the other two collections, uh, Aqua Bella and Drama Queen, so, which I will be doing tutorials for at a later date, but I'm going to be using the blush pack from Aqua Bella because it has both my dark and my mid-tones, so I don't have to use more than one color on my cheeks. And I'm just using this big fluffy brush, and I'm going to swirl it around on the color pack and then brush it just across this line here. See? It's really light, but it keeps me from going too dark in the daytime if I do it before I put my liner on. The Sun Goddess Collection comes with actually a really great liquid eyeliner, this one. It's so, so easy to use. I have a hard time with liquid eyeliner. A lot of, um, a lot of companies use this solid stick and it's like trying to, to paint <laughs> with the back of the paintbrush. Um, this one actually has a really nice brush on the end. It's very fine points, so you can get all those perfect edges you want, and it gives you a really smooth line. So I'm just going to be doing a, a sort of exaggerated cat eye. I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit here. Um, for daytime, I would say keep it really short, but for night, I recommend bringing it all the way out. It gives a almost, Egyptian style look. It's very exotic and very pretty for like clubbing or any other dinner date type scenario. So I'm just going to be lining right across here and right real close to the bottom of my lower lid. Now when you're lining your lower lids you want to be careful not to go too far because I know for me I get really deep circles under my eyes so if I want to keep my look light and fresh I want to keep my liner just as close to my lash line as possible. And as you can see, the liner really helps make the whole look pop and look polished. Now, the Sun Goddess Collection doesn't come with mascara. And personally, I like using volumizing mascaras, but I find a lot of them clump and are messy and are a hassle. But I found that I really like Wet n Wild's Mega Length Mascara. It, it's waterproof. It's 
crate wear all day and it doesn't clump my lashes and that's what I love. So I'm going to put mascara on both the top and bottom lashes. And see, mascara is a great addition. The final part of the Sun Goddess Collection look here is the lipstick. Now, the lipstick is probably my favorite thing out of the whole collection. This is a magic lipstick. I wear it with everything. It looks good on any skin tone and it goes with so many different outfits. Day to night wear, all different seasons. It's great. I absolutely love it. It looks like this. And mine is a little, because I've used it so much, short. So let me take it out. Here we go. It looks like this. See? Perfect color. Not only for this look, but I promise you for all sorts of outfits. With the lipstick applied, the look is complete. So, you guys, leave me a comment and let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, you can actually buy the Sun Goddess Collection at Walmart. It's only five bucks, and honestly, that is a great deal. You get 12 eyeshadows, an eye pencil, the liquid eyeliner, your lipstick, applicator brushes, and the bronzer pack. It's a huge, huge deal. And yeah, you can get that at Walmart. So. It's really great. Either way, I will see you guys next time when I do my Drama Queen or Aquabella. We'll find out which one's next. So don't forget to leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And remember, making up isn't that hard to do.